Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace, your vegan athlete, here with an exclusive video for my Urban Gardening in Arizona Facebook group. I wanna show you guys a few things I planted in the last uh, week. Follow me, let's check it out. Right on the pond right here, I got a pineapple guava bush that's starting to put off his uh, new leaves and maybe even some flower pods, it's very exciting. And in the middle of the pineapple guava bush, in the middle of it, in the thick of it, bushwhacking its way to victory, is this new avocado tree I just planted. It's a uh, Jim Bacon, which has some sentimental value to Pam and I, especially Pam, my wife. So if you guys want to know about why Jim Bacon's important to us, talk to me about it later. Come on over. Oh, first of all, this is why it's important because the pineapple guava now will protect the trunk of the Jim Bacon avocado. And that way the trunk, which is not yet having any bark on it, will have some protection as the summertime hits. And this Jim Bacon is a B-type avocado. We found out through the good work of Seamus O'Leary and uh, Dr. Al Falkenstein that the Arizona Aravipa avocado is an A-type. So now I have both types. We also got this one from a nursery in California. It's called a jelly palm. These jelly palms are like date palms in that they put off edible fruits, but they don't put off dates, they put off jellies. And they're like orange fruits that you eat it and it tastes a little pineapple-y taste. So, these guys were 20 years old in a like a 10 gallon, 5 gallon, or no, 15 gallon pot. So we have finally freed the root system of these shoot after a 20 year prison term. And they can hopefully grow and thrive here in my backyard on the dock and frame the pond. This is the Arizona Aravipa avocado that we got, of course, from Seamus O'Leary's. That's in, uh, he's been one year on the ground now. So this is one year on the ground. He's doubled in size. He was a, uh, 45 or $50 tree in a three gallon pot and he's looking really good. All the new growth looks fantastic. But I wanted to show you guys, this is what I wanted to show you in this video, which is when you guys grow an edible landscape, sometimes after a certain amount of years, the landscape begins to become a living, breathing organism on its own. And certain things will grow, fruit, and produce without you doing anything. Case in point, follow me. We're going out into the hellscape, barren wasteland purgatory that is my trash alley. And uh, check this out. On the outside of the fence, in the trash alley, we've got a, a squash plant of some type that never gets watered. It is pretty much growing in this. Look at this. <laughs> some high quality compost right there. He's growing in that right there. And maybe he's getting some residual water when I water the trees inside, but he's flowering. Look at this. He's flowering and fruiting squashes. And so it's going to be a race. Can this guy produce some high quality fruits, some high quality squash fruits before the bulk pickup comes and scrapes him to his death? So inside here, there's more flowers and pretty amazing stuff. So just like one of my favorite baseball movies of all time, Kevin Costner, if you build it. It will grow. If you build it, it will grow. So, there it is. Grow an edible landscape, guys. Go vegan and grow your food at home. Thanks for joining the uh, Facebook group. Check me out on Vegan Athlete on YouTube and uh, Jake Mace Tai Chi on Instagram. I'll see you guys next time.